the first to know in SMP TV. Yeah, man, I'm going to be in SMP TV. So, in SMP, be the first to know. Now, we say, yeah, you need to be able to do it. Yeah, okay, enough constituency. In fact, NDC boys on the run after vandalizing billboards of billboards of Amadokia. Na news wa abe ka in SMP ye front desk ni se Ama Dokuya eye NPP parliamentary candidates Ewo oye okai kwe nof Na NDC boy isi biya Omoko diye nina mwon se mwa polisi ya jagu mwa chia Mene woka se yi Che se mikan ten 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 paa no mutu Na uko eye asasi radio dot koma Ube nye bi na wake nkai Sa yansu na Joe Weiss uko be kwa ye Constituency ya, wadeni sembi abe tuja awo NPP parliamentary candidate ya Ononso air pre seats ya di ehun se monso ewe brow ewe video imu Na asazi news radio ya di ensembi abe tuja Efa okayu kwe nof NDC boys ya Chesu mwede nina monse mwa Enye asem kitu akura Nini na nise 2020 elections ya ebae Ye nina ye huwise tenshi nke siye ebe si polling stations a hu duwa ema di padu duwa na efa so shwe wankwa wankwa ayye the likes of techi mai ya huwe ni ye si huwa ni pa ashwe ne wankwa tuwa tutuwa eba mwune adiate ene ni ya ike kan huwa sa tenshi nou astate so e se en raize ya se ahuma mo se an sorry ya anything can happen again na yanko ni ya kwa kengkany was it in a dramatic escalation of pre-election hostilities, youth suspected to be aligned with the NDC were caught on camera, rampaging through the constituency, tearing down billboards and posters of Nana Amadokuya. Na boy is here, a war, a year, a kai kwe nof constituency. A semu omu diene se, MPP parliamentary candidate o ho, Omu uko rounds, ena omu wete tini billboards ni nini na chesu omu vandalize e sebi biya. Na eno, ena polisi aso tiye, na yantu aso ose. Tensions are mounting in the Okai Kwai North constituency of Accra as supporters of the ruling New Patriotic Party accused the opposition National Democratic Congress of orchestrating a wave of vandalism. Targeting campaign materials for the NPP's parliamentary candidates, Nana Amadokuya Asiyama Aji. In a dramatic escalation of pre-election hostilities, the footage which has since gone viral, viral shows the young men methodically, methodically destroying the promotional materials, prompting a swift outcry from NPP. Supporters na NPP for wini na esu wofu pa ze. Adia e NDC goro bo e sene e ye wano. They don't put a stop to it. E de oye ne ke siye pa ne beba na. Ama tension. Arise wo okay kwa e nof de street. E wishan fo e non su ye de bre mo. So the NPP faction. Faction in okay kwa e nof has pointed fingers at Teresa Awini. The incumbent MP and NDC parliamentary candidate along with the NDC's youth organizer, popularly known as Libya, accusing them of being the architects behind the vandalism. They claim this is not the first time the NPP candidate has been targeted, citing previous incidents of destruction that has gone unpunished. Shortly after the incident, the matters were reported to the Tassano, Tassano police station leading to an attempted arrest of the corporates. However, the situation took a volatile turn with Libya reportedly mobilizing a group of tasks to confront the police. Now, uh, NDC group boys, a two sana more motete bill boys of NPP parliamentary candidates, and Obima police associate, now, NDC. Organizer, I oye behind everything. Ni yako suni ni na organize boys, and then do amu ni police for the CNI abusiyafo. 
and also ye de munsem ebrem. As a witness described a ten standoff at the mob surrounding the offices, blocking the attempts to apprehend the suspected vandals. In the chaos that ensued, Libya and his men managed to raise the youths away, leaving the police empty handed and the suspect now in hiding. Now, as the December elections draw closer, the political temperature in Okaikwe North is rising dangerously. Residents and opinion leaders in the constituency are voicing their concerns over the escalating violence and the potential for further clashes. Now, we am a tension a woho. And the leaders here, I was our constituency, both MPP and DC. You know, I can sit here, the echo sonu, I dream more. Tension, I swear, we on pota muhono. I bet me the violence, any potential clashes between the MPP and the NDC, at the Aba Aye, okay, quite north constituency. Now, the despite reported efforts to obtain a statement from the Tessano police authorities have remained tight-lipped, fueling further frustration among the youth MPP camp. The incident has sparked widespread debates about the conduct of political actors in the lead-up to the elections, with many calling for calm and urging the security agencies to take swift and decisive action to prevent further disturbances. Now, what was the fray and pan you force a woman for monancy form, and yes, sir. The air cost no, and a more a NDC for a two a two no. Say, a man share no more and see a no quire a bit to me at the classic as a barber between NDC and MPP, and also young person you see twenty twenty neighbor CB maintenance. NDC to shut up and do the needful. Na se ye kwanze ya fufo mwa hudu wa ni chile bekwaya ene Joe Weiss, Joe Weiss Ankasa. I endorse his successor, Ralph Puku Adusei. Na Joe Weiss, ene ye ubiya onu ya kwa bekwaya diya. Na onu na watina kunyane suwa. Na onu na nwa the first deputy speaker of parliament, Joe Osei Usu Joe Weiss. And they were fully and now were, were endorsing the elected parliamentary candidate of the NPP for his constituency, Rauf Poku Adusei, urging his constituents to vote massively for him in the 7th December general elections. Now, I'm going to say that 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 i am Unwavering support to Waruf Poku Adusei, who is a lawyer in private practice. When he joined other leading members of the NPP to officially unveil the District Road Improvement Program for the Bekwai District on Friday, 6 September 2024. In a post on his Facebook wall after the ceremony, Joe Wise said, Waruf Poku Adusei is his chosen successor. And he's proud to endorse him. Yesterday was a momentous day in the Bekwa constituency. I was thrilled to have been joined by our Ashanti regional chairman, Bernard Antri Boasiakum. Na chama wun to me and so edin anu nyam ekota a ye unveiling of district road improvement program drip twenty twenty four. Na MC wanabu kuche bafo. And a parliamentary candidate, lawyer Ralph Puku Adusei, along with traditional leaders and party members for the official unveiling of the drip program, no echo so a bequire constituency. Na a hona Joe Wise e kase what in a support in na wa and also MPP parliamentary candidate. A el lawyer Rauf se Mafonto Abamano na momentumindi and this if kunim our coming December. Elections. We also performed the sword cutting ceremony for the groundbreaking AstroTurf project. During the event, I proudly presented lawyer Raouf Poku Adrisei to my constituents as their chosen successor and urged them to support and uplift him. 
I also emphasize the importance of continuity in leadership and why Dr. Baumia, the MPP flag bearer, deserves to steer the nation forward. Joseph Oseusu wrote on its Facebook wall. Additionally, I took the opportunity to highlight the significance of eight moving machines we unveiled, explaining how they will benefit the constituency and play a crucial role in our development. It was a wonderful experience, and I am grateful to have shared it with my people, Mr. Oseusu Post further read. The NPP parliamentary candidate for Bekwa constituency, lawyer Raouf Pokwa Dusai, has demonstrated exceptional qualities that have endeared him to the people of Bekwa. His impressive attributes have convinced the constituents that he is the ideal leader to represent them in the upcoming December elections. <laughs> lawyer Raouf has lawyer Raouf has proven to be resourceful showcasing his ability to mobilize support and resources to address the needs of his constituents. His safe response to clear the over 50 years old refuse dump at Ajamensu and 70 years old refuse dump at Puano, to mention a few, is a testament to his resourcefulness. Now, so secondly, he has been productive consistently engaging with community and delivering on his promises. His donation of 50 tablets and chairs to Esumenya MAJHS and Dominancy MAJHS and his support for the Savior Church's school building project demonstrates his productivity. He has shown sympathy and empathy towards the plight of his constituents, particularly the market women affected by the broken concrete slab at the Bekwai market. His prompt intervention to repair the slab demonstrates his sympathetic nature, not only that. He solely funded and saw to the successful repair of Bekwai ambulance van, which broke down for months. Lawyer Ralph is action driven, consistently taking initiatives to address pressing issues in the constituency. His organization of communal labor to face the broken concrete slab is a prime example. His swift attempt to clear the over 60 years refuse dam at Puano is another book of his actions. He is listening, he's a listening leader, engaging with various groups and individuals to understand their concerns and needs. His visit to the Bekwai Lorry Station to meet with driver unions traders and business owners exemplify his willingness to listen. The ever popular Amansia Youth Project, which has given over 2,000 youth employable and entrepreneurial skills, is much to talk of. program Rauf has proven to be truthful maintaining transparency and honesty in his interactions with the company. To add to his accolades, his energetic approach to campaigning and community engagement has inspired enthusiasm among the constituents. In addition to the above, his philanthropic efforts such as donating to the Savior Church's School Project and several others have demonstrated his commitment to giving back to society. Lastly, we hear and someone, Joe uh, Weiss, first Deputy Speaker of Parliament, at the uh, Tuja. Lastly, Lawyer Raouf is rough, is, is loved and accepted by the masses who appreciate his dedication to their welfare and development. His connection with the people has earned him their trust and support. Lawyer Rauf Poku Adusei, exceptional qualities have convinced the people of Bekwai that he's the ideal candidate to lead them. His resourcefulness, productivity, connection to power, sympathy, action-driven approach, listening leadership, truthfulness, energy, philanthropy, 
and acceptance by the masses makes him the perfect representative of the constituency in the upcoming December election. Now, in fact, again, someone, a Joe Weiss, a day Atuja Afa, the aspiring parliamentary candidate, and uh, the parliamentary candidates for the MPP, I will be quite constituency, and one on nature, say. Among four more beauty or more papa, papa, including NDC, a very high poor, or dear my parliamentary candidate, lawyer Ralph, na. Na just a woman and him a banyan pa coming December elections in a day. No way, no way, no way. What they obia a chi a better form. Na a quonsian for for more. Dr. Bano, Dr. Bano, an economist, an economist at the insembi abetuja. Na in some uh, Dr. Bano, a uh, development economist and head of research at the Dan Kwa Institute, has emphasized that MPP manifesto reflects Baumian's credibility and integrity. Now, MPP's election 2024 manifesto is a blueprint for Ghana's development and a testament to Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumian's credibility and integrity. In an interview on France 24 News, Dr. Bano described the document as more than just a development plan. It's, it's a reflection of Dr. Baumier's strong moral standing and proven dedication to national progress. Dr. Baumier's track record, both in his public service and private life, speaks for itself. He has always demonstrated a high level of integrity. And this Ray assures Ghanaians that he is the right person to lead the fight against corruption. Dr. Bano stated, I wish I for an also a and semia. Yeah, they bram. When in some way and Saka and Sempia tea for your day bram. My young Uzusia, our comment session. Yeah, the mercy.